So yeah, I am DOT'd. When I'm loaded, I have about 17, 16 to 17,000 pounds, depending on if I have the uh, pallet forks with me or not, on a 5,302 pound trailer on a 20,000 gross vehicle weight trailer. So yes, I am over 20,000 pounds on a trailer. You can do that when you prorate to the uh, tow vehicle and put some weight on the ball hitch. <sighs> that said, that's a lot of weight on a two inch shank. There are trailers that don't put weight onto the tow vehicle. Commonly, those are referred to as tag trailers or tag along trailers. We're close to a tag trailer, but still technically just a bumper pull and we do put quite a bit of tongue weight. So this hitch, it needs to hold up. That thing is heavy. Include a 3000 pound mulcher, set of pallet forks in a bucket, pushing 17,000 pounds. So all in, that little guy, yeah, we are at 22,000 pounds. So, got a new trailer hitch, needed a raise ball hitch, and I needed one rated for the weight that we're actually towing. Did a little bit of research, found this guy on Amazon, very reasonably priced. Put a link in the description if you want to buy one. Uh, as with supply chain and metal prices and, and everything else, that price is always going to change. Uh, so I encourage you to check the link in the description for today's price uh, when you're viewing it. But it's uh, very reasonably priced. Looked at quite a few other trailer hitches that were at least double the cost. I don't know if there was quite double the value in the cost either. Um, quickly on the box, it's stamped everywhere. 20,000 gross trailer weight on a two inch ball, 25,000 pounds on a two and five sixteenth ball. Uh, I'd like to point out, this is a four-gene ball, ing, four-gene ball. <laughs> it uh, doubles the uh, towing capacity. I'm not exactly sure how it does that. I think your truck is going to regulate that, but it also has intelligent robot welding and we're going to take a look at some of the welds and the gusseting and what reinforcing is on this hitch to make it rated for 25,000 pounds that's a lot of weight first thing first we're going to find out the actual weight of this i think that's important to let us know you know how much steel how much weight we're actually dealing with i think a lot of things in life are all relative. They're all relative to something. To get an idea of light duty to medium duty to heavy duty, you need some sort of a mechanism to quantify, not just qualify. I'm gonna say this is heavy duty, I'm gonna say this is light duty. How do we actually you know, start quantifying? I can't really think of another way other than you know, doing destructive testing other than just weighing and trying to get you know a weight of something. This is a very common light duty um, ball mount hitch. It's a hollow shank. You can see even where the uh, hitch pin goes in, it's, it's, it's hollow throughout. This is rated by the manufacturer at 5,000 pounds. It weighs with, with a ball, zero pounds. Well, that's a fail. Uh, the scale won't even read it. it. It's showing zero pounds. Clearly, it weighs some pounds. Uh, just by the arm test, four, about four pounds. Um, it's not quite a five pound barbell weight. Moving up from light duty more to a, a medium duty is, is this guy, solid shank even where the hitch pin goes in. So this is a, a full solid bar. This is rated by manufacturer at 10,000 oh, pounds, 15.2 pounds. 
this guy also has a solid shank, solid uh, steel bar. 31.4 pounds, 31 and a half pounds. I think that starts to put things into at least a, to at least quantify what we're talking about here. You have five pounds or less jump up significantly and you double the capacity at about 15 pounds. Double that again, a little bit more than double to uh, 30 pounds and uh, at a two and five sixteenths, we're talking 25,000 pound manufacturer rated towing capacity. I will say the hitch did arrive to me beautifully packaged without damage and very nice and neatly organized within the box. Does that mean a whole lot when you're out towing? No, but it is good to see a manufacturer trying to put in a little bit of pride in their work. We'll open up the box and I'll show you the, the packaging and all the extra add-on stuff they give you along with just your ball mount hitch. Included in the box is a shank tube, one piece. <laughs> Forging ball mount, one piece. Pin, two pieces. Clips, two pieces. A pin lock, one piece. Metal pad, one piece. Silencer pad, three pieces. Allen key wrench, one piece. Inside the box, when you first open it, you'll get an instruction manual, which, which is handy. Um, tells you what's included in how to uh, set up the adjustable trailer hitch, uh, your silencer pads, how to use the Allen key for the silencer, and the different pictures of what's all included. Opening up, this is what, what you'll find. You'll have your locking pin, uh, good quality, two keys, your pins for adjusting the hitch, your steel pad, silencer pads, Allen key, your ball mount, yo, and your hitch. Along with stamping everything on the box and everything, it does come uh, rated and stamped um, for your gross trailer weight limit. Um, 2,500 pounds with the two and five sixteenths, 20,000 pounds for a two inch ball. I did have to look if the uh, raise or lower meant anything. I can't find any other rating differing for raise or lower other than what size ball you use. Try to give you a close up of some of these uh, robot welds. It's, it is pretty well gusseted uh, straight through. Oh. Wrapped welds around, around the ends. It's a, it's a heavy, well-built uh, piece. It is from China. So one more key piece is there is a silencer screw on the ball hitch to not have the ball hitch rattle around like that. So that, that was one thing I missed the first time I used it and uh, read the directions. And <laughs> so now we're going to um, make sure that this doesn't rattle and that the, uh, the hitch itself doesn't rattle. And we're just going to come in and screw. And just like that, yep, 
no no wiggle no wobble no nothing um i can see that also helping taking up the slack so there's not that sh uh, shock load on these pins that that's a that's a pretty big value i i believe although it's going to be impossible to tell the difference it does come with three rubber pads and one steel pad and there you go depending on how far you want to take it and screw it in there um it's not moving anywhere we went uh steel pad rubber isolator back to the uh, receiver hitch here's another shot of the welds try to focus that And when you're done, remember to grease your uh, ball hitch, which I forgot. <laughs> well, and there you have it. Um, that's a ball, ball mount hitch that I'll be using to tow pretty heavy loads on a uh, bumper pull trailer. Um, that's all I know about it. I've used it a couple times to tow the skid steer around. I don't have a long-term review, but uh, if there's any updates, I'll be sure to update you guys. Other than that, hope uh, you know you found took something from the video. Um, and if nothing else, hey, if you see me doing it, you can do it too. Probably better than me. <laughs> Cheers from the bulldog guys.